Hello, Brawlhalla fans! This is Raven and I am back with some more ranked 1v1. Looks like our current mission is to play as Taros or Cassidy. So we're gonna play as uh, some Taros. I picked up the Collector's Edition recently, so we're gonna be rocking, uh, rocking that. We'll see if we can't get into any games. Again, I still haven't kind of decided if uh, I'm gonna be cutting out the training, like the startup time. We'll see how long the queues are today and decide if I leave it in. But I feel like I get the opportunity to just, you know, chat with you guys and say some stuff and, you know, stand over here on the right side of, en of Enigma and just kind of swing my axe and things. So, um, yeah, I'm deciding that I'm going to start doing some more training room tutorials. I think that there's going to be one on the axe, actually, in a couple of days. Uh, should be getting that one knocked out pretty soon. And I'm going to be starting up a roguelike uh, playthrough of Crypt of the Necrodancer, which should be coming out later this week once I get some time to sit down and play some of that and actually uh, improve a little bit to the point where I'm not just completely terrible. But yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. I am excited to be playing Brahal again. I'm going to be streaming it tonight. Oh, this is probably incredibly boring. You're probably like, Raven, I don't care. I don't want to hear about all of your problems. I just want to know about Taros and Brahalla, so let's take this time to talk about Taros. I think Taros is pretty good in patch 115. Uh, the axe is an incredibly solid weapon right now, and it really has some great tools to prevent a lot of the other things that are going on in the meta. You know, Taros' signatures are nice and fast now. You know, they come out fairly quick if you get a hard read. He's not nearly as punishable as he used to be. I know back in the day, you know, when Taros was first released, I was just like, ah, oh, Taros, this is terrible. Terror is the terrible terror, but unfortunately, um, or fortunately rather, over the period of the last few patches, a lot of the dex changes has really helped Terros out. You know, there's not as much of a penalty to three dex anymore in the way that there used to be in the good old days. And you can get double knockouts with the man. Now I'm starting to get worried because it's been like a minute almost two minutes. That either means there are other diamond players right now in matches, or we are gonna get, uh, we're gonna get paired up with a platinum player. Being paired up with somebody in platinum always scares me, especially during my warm-up match, because I know if I lose to them, I'm gonna drop, like, 40, maybe 50 points of elo and, like, six ranks. <laughs> and there's always a chance that a platinum player will take you by surprise, because they're just not quite as predictable, you know? They, they do things that uh, diamond players wouldn't do, and so occasionally that can take you by surprise. In fact, there was like this, there was this article I was reading about fighting game stuff. They were talking about how this happens sometimes at, uh, at EVO and like other big fighting game tournaments. You know, somebody in pools will end up playing against this guy who's not that good of a player, and because he's doing all this suboptimal stuff, it catches the really good players off guard, you know, because you think that they're gonna be doing the optimized things and you're ready for that, but then they just do all this suboptimal random crazy stuff and you get hit by it and all of a sudden you're down like two stocks and you don't know what to do and you know that's the type of things that happen. So if we do get matched with the plat player, we do want to make sure that we don't uh we don't throw the match and here we go, we're getting matched up right now against a plat player, Lazy J12 on Cassidy. I wonder if he's doing his uh his daily quests as well. Uh, so we're going to try not to get totally wrecked by this guy, as could happen. A little bit of footsie starting off. Got myself a weapon. Now he's got himself a weapon. All right, just have to play it nice and cautious. Don't go into his signatures. Or that. All right. Oh no! See? It's happening already, guys. <laughs> what I was talking about. It's already happening. No, no! The side airs! My warm-up games. Okay. Is that gonna be enough? Oh, okay, the down signature. We can recover from this. I really need to get an axe. 
Ooh, we went for a signature option there. We were able to reset the score. Axe, in my opinion, does a lot better against guns than, uh... Axe does a lot better against guns than freaking the rest of the stuff. <laughs> than hammers do, especially on Terrace. Terrace does have three, uh, three what's it? Here we go, the guns again. Able to get a dodge punish there, and yep, he is down airing like crate. Whoop! And we were able to get that. <sighs> I probably would have gone for recovery there as well, but you know, choices. Choices, my friend. Oh no, Cassidy, come back! Nice scoop. Ooh, right into his signature, huh? All right, all right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just like, no, <laughs> why? Oh man, I can't believe I judged the distance on that. And we were able to get the spike. Taking a 2-0 aside from a nervous first stock. Oh man. All right, so next up is to uh, play Bodvar or Lucian. I haven't played either of these guys in a while, but hey, we got this, you know, fancy collector skin now. We should probably rock it. I feel like purple Bodvar is appropriate, and we'll come back in here. We'll see if we have as long of a queue time. I know it's probably not nearly as interesting when we don't get matched up with another diamond player, but you know, this is the life of ranked right now when the game goes into open beta and we get a huge influx of players and you know the brackets get bigger i imagine we'll have more diamond players but for now you know you gotta you gotta hope one of those 50 people is on and they are usually you know diamond people do like to play Ooh, that reversal that thatch man even on the bot the skills are unequaled <laughs> All right, match is beginning right away, and it's Milo. Oh man, I typically have trouble against Milo, largely because his uh, play style relies a lot on you running into him constantly, so he can Milo combo you. Ooh, I didn't know that was a thing. All right, gotta gotta use those extra levels of concentration. Okay. Able to get the first knockout just barely. Okay. <laughs> and I deserve that for going for a follow up that doesn't really exist. <sighs> Oh my goodness, these neutral airs. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right, Milo. 
Wow, that was a very brutal punish. Is that going to be enough? That should do it. All right. Let's just stay in it. In it to win it. Oh, come on now, Milo. Come on! Oh no! There was just not enough time! Oh, Milo. GG, man. <laughs> He's going to give me lots of exclamation marks. Oh, and a one. All right. Well, Milo's on. That's good news. I really don't have a counter to Milo's Nash. I really don't. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and go random. And looks like we got Bryn, which actually shouldn't be too bad against Milo. We'll see. Oh, man. Yeah, one of the things that troubles me a little bit about Milo is I have to adjust everything for his timing. Because when you play people with higher ping, they uh, there's a slight rollback interaction where some of the things don't appear to take as much time as they normally do. So your reads have to be a little bit stronger. Nice. Oh, the scoops even. There we go. We were able to wait and force out the dodge. And then punish appropriately. Oh, come on now. No, I'm dead. All right, let's see if we can't come back from this. Got some good unarmed damage down. not good. No, Milo. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. It's all right, though. to bait that out. Let's see if we just can't get a little bit of an advantage. Oh, I went for the wrong one. No! No, I'm so behind. I'm going to die. As soon as he lands another one of these signatures, I am pretty dead.
<laughs> he went underneath. I was not expecting that, <laughs> but it still worked out. Oh, uh, GG, Milo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that was intense stuff. All right, let's do uh, let's do one more. It'll probably be against Milo again, but that's okay. Uh, I'm okay with going two for two in this, and we're Orion, which should be uh, interesting to match up against Milo with on Orion. We got the fast spear. It seems like he was uh, taken off guard by a couple of our fast instant side airs on the spear. And I just made a Rocket Lance tutorial, so I'm feeling, you know, somewhat uh, capable on Rocket Lance since I recently went through all that. All right, guys, so the last and final tiebreaker between myself and Milo. We're back on Twilight Grove. Raiden on Orion. Milo representing Nash players everywhere as we are going to get in it. We'll try and see how well we can do. Oh my goodness. It beats everything. <laughs> yeah, I got the little setups there. Woo! Ryan serving us well early on. Oh, that's not good. No, I was trying to do my safety one and I just got pinged out of it. Oh, that's not good. It's a lot of damage I didn't need to take. Oh my goodness, Milo. All right, able to get a good punish on that. Oh no! Oh Milo, that was so sneaky, man. Oh Milo with the quick decision making. Let's finish this out. Ah oh, crap. Oh come on. <laughs> there we go. Goodness. This is not good. Not good. No. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that the weapon went under him. <laughs> oh, GG Milo. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's ranked video. Milo continues to be the number one Nash everywhere, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you next time.